hey guys welcome to dotnet school now as advised by one, one of my subscriber i have changed the look and feel of my presentation so hope you like it now in this lecture we will understand what is mvvm pattern in wpf now this is a completely theoretical lecture I we will not be making any application out of uh, mvvm pattern that's because uh, to implement mvvm pattern you need to understand what are wpf commands now in my next lecture i will explain you what are wpf commands and then in the subsequent lecture we will make a small application which follows mvvm pattern so let's quickly jump into our slides and understand what are, what is mvvm pattern in wpf so mvvm mvvm stands for model view and view model now these are three parts of mvvm pattern first one is model second one is view model and third one is the view so we will understand these all parts one by one as we proceed now mvvm is a architectural pattern designed for uh, especially for wpf silver light windows phone windows 8 applications now the reason why these all technologies use mvvm pattern is because the presence of xaml component in in them now the presence of xaml component enables it to perform data binding and thus mvvm pattern becomes easier to implement in these technologies also remember that mvvm is not a design pattern it's a architectural pattern that means your project is architected in mvvm pattern now mvvm de depends heavily on xaml and data binding concept so as i have explained you in the previous point that whichever application has xaml and data binding co concepts uh, enabled in it so they can use mvvm pattern in them now the basic idea behind mvvm pattern was to separate code and ui with each other so that ui designers can work independently and c sharp developers work independently now imagine you hire a ui designer who knows nothing about c sharp and you know about c sharp or the developers know about the c sharp but they don't know how to design a ui of a application now there are various tools available in market so that your ui could be beautifully designed in it so one of the tool is expression blend now you uh, suppose you hire a designer which knows only to work on expression blend so that designer can create the ui independently and c sharp developers can work on the c sharp logic independently and later these both the logics could be combined using data bindings so this is the main benefit of mvm pattern in applications that it separates code and ui with each other so it follows this thing so suppose i have a designer and i have a developer so this ui or view will be handled by designer and view model and model will be handled by c sharp developer so you can see there is a separation of concern between a designer and a developer so developer work and designer work won't be interfered with each other so this is the idea behind introducing mvm pattern now these are the blocks which explain the mvvm pattern now view model sits between model and view we will understand what these components actually mean but for visualization purpose you can remember this diagram now you can see in the view or xaml block i have a small block called as code this means that you, your view or xaml does not contain any code behind or you won't write any button click or any grid event or any combo box event nothing so your view will contain very less code only the code related to focus or enabling etc a very little amount of it could be present in view but not any business logic so your view will only contain a xaml the code behind file won't contain any c sharp logic now one of the question you might be getting that if we uh, if we don't have any code behind so how we will enable business logic in your application so the answer to this question is commands so instead of writing any button click you write a command and then that button will on click of that button you will call that command so i will uh, i will make you understand commands in my next lecture now all the communication between view and a view model happens with the help of data binding and the change notification that propagates from view model to view or from model to view 
happens with the help of i notify property chain interface so i i have explained i notify property chain interface in my previous lecture so if you are new to it please go and watch that lecture so let's understand the characteristics of view so view is a simple user interface defined in xaml or xaml so whatever you see in front of your eyes the ui the or you or gui that is view it could be a window page user control etc now the code behind of this view should be empty or minimal code that means you don't write anything on the code behind of the view so hence no business logic is defined in code behind now all these points are self explanatory when we will build the application in mvvm so these points will be very clear to you but these are very simple and self explanatory points so let's understand now view model characteristics now view model is the middleman between model and a view now view and model both are isolated with each other they don't know anything about each other so what makes them talk that is view model now since model and view do not talk with each other directly so view model serves this purpose so you can imagine view model as a broker between model and view so all of the data that is present inside a model that should be represented onto the view is represented with the help of view model so there are certain special elements such as commands or observable collections or i data error info interfaces so there are certain special commodities which help us to achieve the talking between model and the view now it contains zero ui elements so no ui element will be defined onto the view model it just it will just have c sharp logic and the logic to represent the data that is present in the model to the view so let's understand now model characteristics now model is simple state and behavior of our application now say suppose you are working with a school application or you are working with a banking application right so you will have a class called as student class in your school application or you can say you can have a customer class in your banking application now that customer class will have some methods defined in it or the properties defined in it like uh, customer id or first name last name so all these things will consist of your model or this class properties methods each and everything will define a state and behavior of your application so these classes will be present on to the model so it contains classes properties methods of your application now certain business rules data access etc could be defined on your model so let's revise uh, all the classes all the properties methods etc are present on to the model now the ui of your application is the view or xaml now what makes model and view talk is the view model so this is mvvm pattern in a very simple form now all the communication between view model and the view happens with the help of data binding so you, there is minimal or no code behind onto the view and the chain notification propagates with the help of i notify property chain interfaces and for various control events we define commands in mvvm pattern so this is a quick summary of what is mvvm pattern in wpf so i hope you understood this so this will be more clear when we develop a very simple application using mvvm so thank you so much guys for listening if you have any comment or any doubt please leave a comment and please do subscribe to my channel thank you so very much